Hi, I'm Tom and welcome to our short video presentation of Spindle Professional working with Sun Systems. First of all, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how Spindle works. Spindle is based around an intelligent Windows printer driver, which can take your document or batch of documents from Sun Systems or virtually any other Windows application that can print, and then based on your configurations can gather the documents together, turn them into PDFs, and then automatically deliver them to the right person in the right style in the right way. If you want, we can also then archive documents back to your network, we can link them to your CRM application, or we can also index the documents back into SharePoint. What are we going to do with this actual demonstration? We're actually going to sit within Sun Systems, and we're going to print a batch of statements to Spindle. Spindle's then going to brand them up, apply a digital signature to the document, and then deliver them to the appropriate person just the way they want it. We're then going to archive the documents back to our system for easy access. The first part of this demonstration will be the emailing side of things. So we're going to basically print a batch of statements to Spindle, Spindle will then take that document, add logos and other branding, and then turn it into a PDF. It will then apply a digital signature and wrap the whole thing with a nice professional email which contains relevant information pulled from Sun. Lastly, if the account's overdue, we're going to send the salesperson a copy. Okay, so here we are in Sun. We're just going to run off this batch of statements. I'm actually going to just print it to screen this time so you can see it before Spindle's processed it. It's just actually going to be a plain text document. All I'm going to do with this document is literally just hit the print button, printing all of my statements in one go to Spindle. Spindle will then divide them up into individual documents and take care of the rest. Now you'll see the processor and we'll begin to see our statements going to Outlook. Now the first thing you'll notice is Spindle has created a professional looking email for me containing all the relevant account information for Sun and attached my statement as a PDF. Also, to make sure my client's up to date, Spindle's automatically decided for me to attach our new price list. But equally, Spindle could have attached invoices or whatever was relevant to this document. If we take a look at the document itself, all of a sudden it looks much, much more professional. It actually is incredibly easy to design Spindle backdrops and make them look pretty much however you want. We can have different backdrop designs based on variable data or even apply relevant overlays like a big red stamp if the account's overdue. And the last thing to look at here is we've actually also applied a digital signature to the document to help authenticate and protect the document. At the same time as delivering my document to my client, Spindle can also send copies to other people. In this case, it's decided to send a copy to the salesperson because this particular account is overdue. So now the salesperson knows that they can actually check if this will affect any pending orders and they actually get their own version of the document here, the account statement, salesperson's copy. Now onto faxing. Spindle is going to fax a document to my client as well as applying a simplified stationary backdrop. If you choose to fax, Spindle supports a number of common fax systems on the market, including what I'm using here, which is Microsoft Fax. So what we're going to do is fax the document to my customer if they can't receive emails or actually specify they want to receive documents by fax. Now what you can see here is this much more simplified version of the backdrop which is black and white so it's going to be legible when it comes off the other end. Now archiving. Spindle can archive the PDF into a file structure on my network. It will automatically create and name the structure as well as naming the document itself. The important thing for me to explain here is that Spindle's actually archiving into a logical file structure here and it's actually creating and managing this file structure on the fly without me actually having to do anything. Now I can actually browse to my document and find it very quickly and easily. As you can see the document here is a carbon copy of exactly what was sent to my client. Lastly, onto SharePoint. Now, similar to our network archiving, Spindle can create and manage our folder structure, but the cool thing here is we can now archive and index against custom data, and the documents are fully searchable. Because we can access all that data from Sun, we can now use that data to index our documents into SharePoint. We have our statements here far by company name, and if we go into the client here, we can now look at our documents, which are indexed based on contextually relevant column headings. In this case, you can see things like account reference, account name, or you know pretty much whatever else you'd like to index by. Now you can see our document is here in SharePoint. It's now available to anyone who's got permissions to access it. 